right, in this video we're going to start uh, to learn the autopilot of the Frogfoot. Um, last video I said we're going to start doing guns, but we'll actually start uh, doing the autopilot. We'll go through all the controls. So I'm just sitting here on the ground, so like in real life we would start setting up our autopilot. It's a good idea to do it on the ground. We don't have to. So as I said before, if we, if we have a zero in either of these two uh, pads, either the heading hold or the altitude hold, they're going to be off. So even if I turn autopilot master on, these two panels are off. So with just Autopilot Master on, it's doing nothing really. Um, that's just a condition we need Autopilot Master on or these will not work either. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we don't need our Autopilot on when we take off. We're gonna set our altitude. So let's go up to, we'll do 2,500 feet. So we're gonna put that in. Now the Autopilot Master is not on. This is not gonna do anything. But because we have a number in larger than zero, as soon as I put the Autopilot Master on, it's gonna try to put on our altitude uh, level. So it's going to try to make us hold zero vertical speed. Now, I'll get into later why it actually doesn't hold zero, because as we change speed, we're going to get different lift over the wings, and that's going to cause it to, uh, that it, it's going to cause us to need to trim to maintain zero. So we'll get into that. But we're going to set up our autopilot by just putting in an altitude of 2,500 feet. All right, we can also, as we would do, you know, flying real aircraft, we're going to put in our heading. So it's 217, so we'll put that in. All right, so neither of these are actually on yet because the Autopilot Master is not on. So we're gonna take off with the Autopilot Master off. All right, so we have our flaps to half. We're gonna take our brakes off. We're gonna start to advance our throttle. All right, rotation speed again is 100 knots. So just a little bit of back pressure with W and then about 100 knots, we'll take off nice and gently. All right, so we're going to put our gear up. We'll go ahead and put our flaps up. Now, we'll just, you know, we don't need to go very fast, so we'll just stay around, you know, 130 knots is fine. Next thing we're going to do is we'll put on the Autopilot Master, and we'll watch what it does. All right, so we set 217, so it went to 217, and we set 2500, all right? Alright, so we're going to set in a vertical speed that we want. Alright, so as it approaches 2500, what we'll notice is the altitude capture hold is going to automatically um, take over and maintain that altitude of 2500. So, as you can see, green light comes on, altitude capture hold comes on, and it will zero us out. Alright, so now if we look at our vertical speed, it's going to reduce down till it's maintaining that altitude within less than one foot per minute precision. As you can see, you know, we're down two digits of precision there pretty much. Alright, so that's our altitude hold. So if we wanted to change to, let's say, 3,000 feet, we're going to click that. You'll notice the green goes out. Alright, you'll notice it's just, uh, you know, just trying to hold our altitude. We're going to start putting in some vertical speed here. We'll start increasing the vertical speed and it will start to climb us. As you can see, vertical speed indicator is going up. Now it's within the range for an auto capture. Light comes on and we auto capture at 3,000 feet. All right. So next thing we'll do is we'll start working on our heading. So let's set a heading here. So we're currently going uh, let's see, 217, let's turn right to 270, so let's turn west. 270, once we hit the check mark, it will automatically turn us. So this is a good system. Let's say that you know you want to go north and then you want to turn east. You could put in 090 and until you press the check, it's not going to turn you. All right, so there it's starting to level us off at two, or, you know, approximately 270. As you can see, it's within one degree. All right. So that's uh, our main autopilot functions. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to start working on our navigation system. So I was saying it before, we're using essentially, it's like an ADF, which is a type of navigation instrument. So I'm not going to go into the details of ADF again. Uh, that's in my longer video. But as you can see, I have a waypoint right there. So let's put in the keypad, that waypoint. So we're going to do input waypoint and check mark. Next, we want to look at our navigation panel here. So we're going to look at bearing two. All right, so we're going two seven, about 270, that's west. 
our target, our uh, waypoint is at uh, six seven. Now, as you can see, I can't see the waypoint. That's because I want to design this so you can use it in career mode. So we won't be able to see the waypoint. So if we go to six eight, that's going to start taking us towards our target. So we're going to enter in six eight six eight. So we're just going to match the bearing now. When we roll out, this number is no longer going to show 68, and that makes perfect sense because if you think about it, we were right here facing this way, and we had to go 68. Well, now we're going over here. Well, of course, the bearing is changing. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep letting the autopilot take us to uh, a heading of 068, and when it rolls out, we'll put in a new number. We'll put in whatever it's saying here, and this is called homing. So we we really do this in real life with an ADF. As you keep turning, the number is going to change. The closer you are to aiming directly at it, the number is going to is going to be you know it might you might only have to change by a degree. So as we come up on six eight, we're going to see what the heading is now. So as you can see, it makes perfect sense that because we were making a big right turn, the number was moving more to our right because we're flying around it. So let's look seven five. So let's let's actually look at it a second. It's seven five and increasing. So let's just go to eighty. So we'll put it in 080, or 80. All right, and so let's let it go to 80. All right, and let's look at this, 75. So let's actually put 76 because it was 75 points, you know, seven something. All right, so right there, as you can see, we're within about one and a half degrees of going directly towards that waypoint. As you can see, if we drew a line straight there, we're going to the target. Next, let's look. We have the distance of nautical miles. We are 7.3 nautical miles from that waypoint. All right, this tells us how our time in minutes. So it's gonna take us three minutes and 24 seconds to get that waypoint. So if we held down the one key and increase our thrust, as you can see, that ETA is going down much faster because we're going a lot faster. You know, we've, we're close to double our speed. So the ETA is gonna go down even faster. So this is our estimated time of arrival in minutes. All right, as you can see, our nautical miles going down. So that's 75.43, all right? And as you can see, we're navigating directly to the point. So this is an old school style of navigation. This will allow us to navigate. Um, you know, a big moving map would not be appropriate in an aircraft of this vintage. So that's how you operate the autopilot. So to change altitude, you want to change your keypad. Then you want to use, select a vertical speed, up or down. You know, if you're going to descend, let's say we want to go down to 1,000. We'd select it. We would click this down. Let's say if we do 30 clicks, that would be 3,000 feet per minute because each click is 100 feet per minute. All right, and then, our, of course, whatever we enter in there for our heading is going to uh, give us our, is going to match the heading for a heading hold. And as you can see, right, we didn't have any, uh, we just used the map, and we don't have a waypoint to look at, and that's the nuclear power plant that we marked with our waypoint. All right, so pretty easy, simple navigation system. All right, so we can show you how that works again. Let's say we want to, after we go to the nuclear power plant, we want to go over here to Komodo. All right, so let's actually get to the nuclear power plant. So you'll notice one thing that will happen here. So let's say, let's, let me actually go in here, let me go to the custom menu. Let me turn the fog all the way up. All right, so now we can't see the nuclear power plant. So how do we know we went over it? Well, as you can see, the gauge is going crazy. Now you notice that it's reading the opposite of the heading we're going. We're going 075, and it's pointing behind us. That means we passed the nuclear power plant. If we look at our map, yep, we passed it. All right, so let's put another one in front of us here. So let's put one right... Let's put it right here in front of us so we're not going too far. All right, so our new bearing is, is uh, so we need to enter it in our keypad. Our new bearing is uh, eight, let's do eight three because it's climbing. We'll turn to a heading of eight three. All right, it's 0.6 nautical miles away from us. We're gonna be there in 10 seconds. Now watch the, the needle. The needle will start to speed up, spin like crazy. That means we're going over it. And now we'll settle back down and it will show it's behind us. As you can see, the ETA is negative, which means it's behind us. And the distance is climbing, which means it's behind us. All right, 
So this is an old school way of nav navigation, which we can be completely in the soup here and still navigate around the map. So to prove it works again, let's go to the hospital. All right, so we're gonna set our waypoint, right? We're completely in IFR conditions. We're gonna enter it into our uh, keypad. We're gonna look at our bearing. It's five, three in descending. So I'm just gonna go to five zero. All right, we're gonna turn to uh, zero five zero. Plane's gonna roll out. Now we're gonna read it again. All right, so as you can see, it's about four or eight. So let's actually fix that. So this is called homing. We keep changing the number to be more and more accurate. Now we're at four or eight, and as you can see, the number is barely changing because we're headed right to it. All right, so we're not gonna look at our map or anything. We're just gonna use this information we have in our gauges. All right, so we're one mile away. We're gonna be there in 22 or point you know, uh, 0.1 minutes, right? So that's, what, six seconds? So we'll be there in six seconds. The needle's gonna go crazy, meaning we're going over it, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the fog, all right? And I'm going to go into camera mode. And as you can see, we just went right over the hospital, right? So that's complete instrument navigation. We didn't use the map, we didn't use anything but the, uh, the gauges inside the cockpit. All right, so that's how we use our uh, our ADF style navigation. All right, thank you for watching.